Hello, thank you for watching this Allegory Gallery quick tutorial. Today we're going to make this red, white, and blue stretch bracelet. The first thing you're going to need are some Lucerna bicones. We have these online at allegorygallery.com and we used two strands of these. You're also going to need some stretch cord. We used 0.5 millimeter stretch cord today and we have some vintage seed beads. First, of course, you're going to cut your strands and get your beads ready. So once your beads are ready, you're going to take your stretch cord and pre-stretch your stretch cord. This may seem counterintuitive, but as long as you pre-stretch it now, your stretch bracelet will not sag over time. So get that stretch going. Then you're going to want to take some tape and you're going to add tape to one end of the stretch cord. This will stop your beads from falling off as you put them on. Next up, start stringing your beads. We used a simple pattern, red, white, blue, white, red, white, but you can use whatever pattern you want and that's the fun of this. So take your time, figure out the pattern that you want, and then start adding your beads on. Sometimes the end of the stretch cord gets a little bit crinkled, so sometimes you need to cut the end off and start with a fresh end. This allows you to get your beads on much easier. As you're adding your beads on, be sure over time to check your bracelet for size. See what size it is. You're going to want it to be fairly tight on your wrist, but not too tight and not too loose. Continue adding beads on until you get to the size that you want checking for size again as you go. Remember, this is going to be a circular bracelet, so you need to make sure your pattern matches up where the knot is going to be. We're ending in two reds right now, so we need to add another white, another blue, and then you wanna make sure that you're gonna add another white to complete the pattern. As you can see, we do need that extra white in here now. Now we're ready to remove the tape and we're going to shift the beads down the strand to make sure we have enough room on each end to make our knots. In order to make your knots, you're going to act like you're tying your shoelaces in a knot three times. Now you're going to want to also keep tension the entire time to make sure that these knots are secure. So make sure that you tighten them and keep tension on your strand as you go. After this third knot, if you'd like, you can add a little dab of super glue to really hold the knot in there. But you're going to also want to make sure that your knot holds by taking the bracelet and stretching it out just a little bit everywhere to make sure that knot is secure. Once you're sure it's secure, cut the ends off. Now you can cut these pretty close, especially if you're using a little dab of super glue. Sometimes you can hide the knot in your beads. We are using pretty small beads, so the knot's not going to be hidden in there, but that's okay. As you can see, you can barely see it, and it fits really well. Thank you for watching and have a great day.